was four years old, my grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is a disease in the brain where people can't always remember stuff. And it could make them frustrated and angry because they will not remember. Sometimes it would be hard seeing her have Alzheimer's disease, but I would know just because she had Alzheimer's disease wouldn't change the way that I loved her. I started bringing puzzles to my grandma because I noticed when I would do that, it would calm her down. When I would bring puzzles to my grandma's assisted living and nursing home, I would involve her roommates and other people who lived there. I would see how happy it would make them. So I started getting all my friends together and we would all go there. And I thought, why can't we do this worldwide? Why can't everyone feel as happy as these people? So that's how we start Puzzle Time. I'm Haley Richmond and my project is Puzzle Time. Puzzle Time is where for an hour of fun, we take puzzles and we pair up a kid with a senior for an intergenerational connection. Puzzle Time helps people who are suffering from Alzheimer's disease. When you solve puzzles with them, it stimulates the visual cortex in the brain and it calms them down. Many people can contact us and we can give them facilities where they can place puzzles to. We set up puzzle drives. We're trying to get puzzles into facilities who don't have a lot of resources. The actual puzzles, we partner with a company to create more senior-oriented puzzles. The Springbok puzzles have 36 pieces and the images have adult-like themes such as a sky that seniors can relate to and talk about. The families of the seniors are really appreciative of us. They noticed that the puzzles were making them less irritated and they were able to connect with them more and they said that solving the puzzles brought them back and they were able to have a conversation again and just connect again. Since the pandemic has started, we are not allowed to go into the facilities, so we do puzzle time virtually and our volunteers send cards to the people in the facilities so they can still connect with them. I am really thankful to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis for giving me this award money. I am planning to use it to give puzzles to state-run facilities who are low on resources, and I plan to write a book educating kids about Alzheimer's disease. I love helping people, and when I saw how Alzheimer's affected my grandma, I felt I want to help other people, even if it might be too late for my grandmother, and I want people to have knowledge on this disease. Around five years into the project, my grandmother passed away. When my grandmother passed, it made me very sad, but I know that I had a lot of fun solving of her, and I will never forget that. But we are still trying to keep puzzle time going and get to as many facilities as we can. We have puzzle time in over 36 states now, and almost seven countries. I would tell all the young people out there that just because they might be little does not mean they are any less capable than adults. And I want to show them that just a simple puzzle can help make a big difference in change.